The doctrine of the lesser magistrate continues to take this nation by storm. Um, we've seen it with county sheriffs, county boards interposing against these lawless governors over this whole COVID-19 matter. But one area in which the doctrine has loomed large and is very prominent is on behalf of the pre-born. There are five states since everybody's come back to their state house last month in January, five states have already introduced bills of abolition. Those states are Arizona, Idaho, Indiana, Missouri, and Oklahoma. And there's other states that are waiting in the wings that are gonna be doing the same thing. Texas and other states have bills already made that are gonna be introduced. A bill of abolition has five components to it. One, it outlaws all abortion from the moment of conception. Secondly, there are no exceptions whatsoever. Thirdly, it criminalizes abortion for what it is, murder. Fourth, it ignores Roe v. Wade, and if necessary, interposes against Roe v. Wade, defies it completely. And number five, it repeals all statutes within the state that make abortion allowable. Many of them, of course, put there by the pro-life movement itself. The doctrine of the lesser magistrate, again, is that when the higher ranking civil authority makes unjust or immoral law, policy, or court opinion, the lower or lesser ranking civil authority has both the God-given right and duty not to obey, and if necessary, to actively resist the superior authority. And our founders here in America, they understood this doctrine and they pillared such thinking into their institutions. They created what's known as checks and balances. Our founders established a true federalism. And in a true federalism, there are multiple levels of government, multiple branches at each level, so that if any one branch or branches begins to play the tyrant, the other branches or branch even, will interpose, will stop their evil. And that's what our founders intended. And when you have this thing of murder by the Supreme Court being declared okay, that needs interposition by the lesser magistrate. And that's what these state legislators are doing. The bill of abolition is the interposition of the state magistrates against the evil decreed by the federal judiciary, by the Supreme Court itself. Understand, our founders did not throw off a monarchy to replace it with an oligarchy. And that is what the Supreme Court has become, an oligarchy. They think they are the final arbiter of all constitutional questions. And Thomas Jefferson addressed this way back in 1821 in a letter. And he said the idea that the Supreme Court is the final arbiter of all constitutional questions would create a despotism of an oligarchy, he said. He went on to say, the Constitution has erected no such tribunal. There is no final arbiter. All magistrates, from a policeman to the president, take an oath to uphold the Constitution. They don't take an oath of subservience to the federal government. They don't take an oath to uphold unjust or immoral court opinions issued by the Supreme Court. Their oath is to the Constitution, and there's nothing in the Constitution that says, a woman can murder her own son or daughter. So the duty of the people is to rally with these magistrates. You need to find out what legislators have introduced this bill and rally behind them. And then you need to find out what magistrates, state legislators haven't signed onto the bill and prod them to do so. That is the role of the people, to prod their magistrates to do right, and when they do right, to rally with them, with your person, with your property, with your prayers both publicly and privately, in order to see this bloodshed driven back to hell where it belongs. This bloodshed has gone on for nearly 50 years now, and everyone is hid behind the skirt of, we have to obey the Supreme Court. That is a lie. And the doctrine of the lesser magistrate has exposed it for the lie that it is, and it is time for those who love Christ and those who love their neighbor to take action on behalf of them and see this bloodshed brought to an end.